What's up, FRT community? Good lung up, good lung down, which is which, why does it matter, and what's the correct answer? Let's dive in. All right, so I received an email this week, and the email uh, was from a student RT who was preparing for the TMC, I believe, and there's some confusion in her studies on which way do I position my patients when we're referring to unilateral lung diseases and this and that. So in other words, do I put good lung up or do I put good lung down? That's the basis of all of it. Now there were two images included in this email to show and to illustrate the source of the confusion. Here's the first image. This question was posed in some sort of review session and it talks about a 61 year old female patient with pneumonia, consolidation in the left lung, which of the following positions would you recommend for postural drainage? So the question here is, is we need to mobilize secretions and to help mobilize and clear up this unilateral left lung consolidation, which way and which position would you put this patient in? Now the green highlighted is the stated correct answer. And then they support that with some key information down here at the bottom. They go on to say like, you're not gonna be asked a lot about these questions, but when you do, remember these tidbits. Supine drains the anterior segments of the upper lobe. Prone drains the superior, and drains the superior segments and the posterior basal segments of the lower lobe. Trendelenburg drains the basal segments of the lower lobes, both anterior and posterior. And then you get this statement right here. And here, I think, is where the confusion comes in. When it says lateral decubitus position, now lateral decubitus position means you're gonna put the patient on one side or the other. So you're either gonna put them on their left side or you're gonna put them on their right side, okay? When there is a unilateral consolidation, consolidation in one lung, remember, good lung up. For example, to drain the right lung, you would recommend the right lateral decubitus position. That means you would put the right lung down. That's the affected lung. Not in this scenario. This, the, the scenario is left lung. But in their statement here, if you wanted to drain the right lung, then you would put the right lung down. For the scenario up here, you had a consolidation in the left lung, and they say that you want to put the left lung down, which means the left lateral decubitus position. Now, I'm going to pause right there. This scenario right here, somebody is claiming good lung up. The next thing that was attached was this statement. To improve oxygenation in patients with unilateral lung disease, position the patient in the left or right lateral decubitus position with the good lung down. Now you can see how a student learning, trying to recognize and, and learn how this stuff matters, you can see the confusion here. One source is saying good lung up, the other source is saying good lung down. Here's the answer. First of all, we're talking about two different things. On this slide right here, when you're talking about a unilateral lung disease and you're looking to improve oxygenation, then by all means, you definitely want to put the good lung down. Now let me help you make this make sense, okay? We have a unilateral lung disease. So let's just say we have a left consolidation. So how do we maximize oxygenation in this patient? Well, we take this patient and we take this consolidated left lung and we put it up. Now this supports good lung down. So the good lung here is now down. And what this does is remember gas and ventilation will follow the path of least resistance. Well, because of all this consolidation and this decreased compliance, gas flow and ventilation is going to go to the good lung. This is ventilation. 
Now, on top of that, you're going to get a maximizing effect where gravity is going to improve and maximize blood flow to the healthy lung. This all together is going to equal an improved VQ ratio and hopefully help you oxygenate your patient better. So by all means, this statement right here, to improve oxygenation with the unilateral lung disease, position the patient in the lateral decubitus position, left or right, with good lung down for the sake of maximizing VQ ratio. That's 100% true. Now let's go back to the previous slide. This is really where the, 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 the problem lies, okay? Now in this scenario, there was never anything talked about about improving oxygenation. What this question is talking about is postural drainage. So what we are looking to do here with this question is we're looking to mobilize secretions out of one or the other side, depending on which lung is consolidated. Well, we have a left lung consolidation. So when we look at that, we understand that it would look something like this. Left lung consolidation, right? Now think about it. If you want to drain this left lung, if you put that left lung down, say for instance like this, and the left lung is down, do you see any type of way where gravity is going to help mobilize these secretions to come up and out? Absolutely not. Because gravity is going to pull these secretions and this consolidation. It's going to do much, nothing more but to help it settle in even further. So if you have a left lung consolidation, you by all means want to put that consolidated lung up. And when you put it up, you will see movement in the mobilization of secretions down towards the tracheobronchial tree, and then the patient can cough and clear them. This is with postural drainage, or even with CPT. If we were beating on this person's left side or percussing on this person's left side, that would shake these secretions down and then postural drainage would pull them towards the carina, towards the tracheobronchial tree and the upper airways. Still, good lung is down. And so, the reason these, this scenario gave you troubles is because the idea of putting good lung up when you're attempting to mobilize secretions for postural drainage or really do anything else, even if you're trying to improve oxygenation, you still don't do good lung up. So I think this is a confusing statement. I think this is a misleading statement. I don't believe that that is the correct option here. I think the lateral decubitus position should be utilized to help mobilize unilateral consolidations. But in this case, left lung consolidation, we want to put left lung up, right lung down, therefore, the best answer to this question is the right lateral decubitus position. Which brings me to this one last point. When you're talking about the lateral decubitus position, whatever side you want the patient laying on is the side that you call the lateral decubitus. So if you want them laying on the right side with the left side up, then they are in a right lateral decubitus. If you want the right side up and the left side down, then it is now a left lateral decubitus. So, I hope this video makes sense because positioning patients and remembering this really more importantly, especially the part, not just when you're doing postural drainage or you're doing CPT and you're trying to mobilize secretions, but also when you have those patients that you're having a hard time oxygenating. And how many times have you had a patient to where it's like, man, they do better on one side than the other? Well, ask yourself, do I have a unilateral consolidation? Is this consistent with better oxygenation with, with, with good lung down? And when you're positioning your patients for postural drainage, 
and for chest uh, physiotherapy, or are you putting them in the proper positions to help use gravity to help mobilize those secretions? Because if you're not, then you're probably not maximizing your time nor the therapy that is intended to help benefit that patient. I hope this video helps. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. If you want me to feature one of your emails on this channel, then send me an email, respiratorycoach at gmail.com. And last but not least, if you find any value over anything from this video or any of the other ones, please hit that subscribe button, turn on all bell notifications so you know when I post another video. We'd love to have you in the community as a subscriber. In the meantime, never ever forget, average is easy, so don't be it.